In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon Alexa on your Fitbit Sense. Now I'll be using an Android phone. If you're using an iPhone, you might want to check out my Versa 3 Amazon Alexa setup video because the steps might be slightly different with an iPhone. But I'll link to that in the description below in case you're interested in checking out that video instead. But continuing with the Android phone and the Fitbit Sense, I'll go ahead and look at the Sense and from the clock face, I'll just show you if you swipe to reveal your apps and you swipe until you find the voice assistant app. You can tap on that and it says set up voice assistant. Open the Fitbit mobile app for more instructions. So I like this little feature now. You actually don't even have to have the Fitbit app on your phone, you know, in the foreground. Um, it might have to be running, but if you just tap open, it actually opens up the app to the actual page that you need to go to. Now, just in case you that didn't work for you or you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can just open your Fitbit app, uh, make sure you are on your Today tab, which is your main Fitbit dashboard, click on your profile picture in the upper left-hand corner, click on Sense or Versa 3 if you're using that here, and then click on Voice Assistant. And then we're going to do Amazon Alexa today, so I'll go ahead and tap on Amazon Alexa. And here it says, Sense includes Alexa. Sense is all you need to talk to Alexa. Swipe over to see how Alexa can help. Get friendly reminders. Set reminders, alarms, or start a timer simply with your voice. Alexa will let you know when the time is up. Master smart devices. Use your voice to control Alexa-compatible speakers, lights, or thermostat. Requires connecting smart devices to the Amazon Alexa app. So if you're not going to be using devices, you actually don't need the Amazon Alexa app. Um, otherwise, you might have to do that additionally uh, after setting up Alexa to use your smart devices. I'm not actually going to show that in this video because I personally don't own any uh, Alexa smart devices. So. And stay up to date. Check for weather and get quick answers to almost any question. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on sign in with Amazon. And there we go, Amazon Alexa. Your device includes Alexa. Use your voice to play music, podcasts, radio, and more. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Get Started. So here it's asking me to sign in with an email and password for an Amazon account. Or if you don't already have an account or want to create a new one, you can tap here to create a new Amazon account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my email and password. And once you have your email and password entered, you can go ahead and tap Sign In. And there we go, it says connected. Here are some things you can say. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Set an alarm for 6 a.m. Is it going to rain today? How much protein is in an egg? And start a run with Fitbit. And down here it notes that Alexa is set to English. You can change the language anytime in the Alexa setting of the Fitbit app. And to learn more and access additional features, open the Amazon Alexa app. So now if we wake wow <laughs> if we wake our clock face and we swipe over we can keep swiping till the last page and now alexa shows up on that last page so i'm actually going to show you a few things here you can customize the order of your app so if you want it to be closer to the clock face i will show you how to do, you'll need to press and hold here and then drag it to the front so it's just like with rearranging apps on your phone. So I'm going to press and hold and now I can drag it over and you see the page indicator on the top there and I'll just put it here for now. So now if I go from my clock face I only have to swipe once and then I find Alexa and you can tap on that and it has been set up. It is listening. The other thing you can do, you have two other shortcuts actually, if you go to settings you can scroll down to shortcuts. It says set shortcuts to quickly reach favorite apps and features. So if you tap on that, there's a press and hold shortcut. So if you press and hold the left button, you can quickly open an app. So if you want to enable this and it's off, you have to tap 
and then you can select the shortcuts. Right now it's set to starting a hike. If I tap here, now you can select your preferred shortcut, which is voice assistant is one option. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. Then you can just swipe and I'll show you the other shortcut is a double press. So if you want to instead, or in addition, set Alexa to your double press group of shortcuts. If you double press the button, you'll open four apps or features. So if this is disabled, all you have to do is tap to enable it. And then we have top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. So if none of those are Alexa, you can actually go ahead and tap on one. And then up here it says select your preferred shortcut. So right now it's set to Fitbit Pay. I'll go ahead and tap on Voice Assistant Alexa. If I swipe to go back, now it's set as my bottom right. So swipe to go back, swipe to go back, swipe to go back. I can also double press the button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having a hard time with this for some reason. Double press, there we go. So now we have it at the bottom right corner. So if I tap there, I can also access Alexa. <laughs> and then the other thing is if you have it set to your long press, you can just long press and then you don't even need to tap. So that's how you can customize how you access Alexa. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you one example of Start a hike with Fitbit. And so there we go. We can actually start an exercise. You do have to say the with Fitbit portion. And I don't think you can stop an exercise, but I can try. Stop hike with Fitbit. Yeah, so it tried to start another one. So I don't think you can actually stop them. That would be nice. Because otherwise you have to do this scrolling up and then ending or whatnot. Uh, the other things you might want to do. Start a one minute timer. Okay, so there was an example of you can actually tap here and then tap the plus button to have a louder reply, so we'll see. Cancel last timer. So yeah, it's pretty uh, soft. I'm not even sure you could really hear that or not, but uh, that those are a few of the uh, commands you might want to do. So over here, I'm just going to go ahead and tap continue and see what's next. And here it says how to wake Alexa. If you set the button to Alexa, press and hold the button until Alexa appears on the screen. So that's actually what I went over, setting it up for the left button shortcut. I'll tap close. And there we go, it shows Amazon Alexa is active. If I tap on it again, you can actually change your language. So right now the default is set for me at least to English United States. And if you need to change it, you can tap on one of these other um, languages otherwise you can just tap on the side here and here's kind of a reminder of all the things that you can do um, I will note one other thing that when you are setting reminders on Alexa timer five minutes okay so if you start a timer with Alexa you can't actually access that timer in the Fitbit timer app. So if I go over here to the timer app, see it says add a timer. There are no timers set here. But if I go back to the Alexa app and I tap on this little clock icon, it says I do have the timer here. And so here on the sense in Versa 3, it'll look like this. You have timers, reminders, and alarms and this is where you will access uh, the timers and other things you set with Alexa so if you want to change that you actually have to go through Alexa cancel last timer
and there we go so so now if I click on here it'll show that there are no timers set so there's just a little uh, getting started guide with Amazon Alexa on the Fitbit Sense if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing if you want to see more how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.